Greetings from Sri Shankara Cancer Hospital and Research Center, Bangalore. I am Dr. Sri Vatsayan, consultant uro-oncologist and robotic urologist. The treatment options for prostate cancers are excellent. One of the key modalities or the important modalities of managing prostate cancer is doing surgery, what we call as radical prostatectomy, wherein we remove the prostate gland along with its attachments and clear the lymph nodes. In carefully selected patients, radical prostatectomy alone can achieve cure in a substantial proportion of patients. There are several methods with which this surgery can be done. One of the promising technologies that has been there in application over the last two decades is the robotic surgery. Robotic surgery is probably most ideally suited for performing a radical prostatectomy. There are several advantages of doing this robotic surgery which I will highlight and with the availability of this technology robotic Surgery has transformed the outcomes of patients with prostate cancer significantly. When a patient presents with prostate cancer and is considered suitable for a surgery, we counsel the patient extensively about various modalities with which this surgery can be done and the possible adverse effects or the side effects of this treatment. There are two important adverse effects or side effects of doing a surgery. Number one is urinary incontinence, meaning to say that after the surgery is complete, the patients will have leakage of urine involuntarily for variable periods of time. The second complication or the adverse event is that patients may experience a lack of erection required for performing sexual activity or what we call as erectile dysfunction. The prostate is in a difficult access location deep inside the pelvis and when we operate on prostates there can be considerable bleeding which might require even blood transfusion so on and so forth. All of these complications are considerably reduced by doing a robotic radical prostatectomy. During robotic radical prostatectomy, we create several keyholes of 8 mm each on the abdominal wall, dock the robot and do the surgery using the robotic system as an interface. The magnification of this robotic system is 15 times more than what we see with our eyes. We get a 3D vision and we can precisely identify each and every small structure and do the dissection. While we perform a robotic radical prostatectomy with very minimum complications like considerably reduced bleeding, the use of robotic technology has also translated into significant reduction in urinary incontinence as well as erectile dysfunction. The recovery is much faster, patients get back to their routine much quicker and the cancer cure rates are also considerably better. At our institution, we have gone one step ahead we do what is known as a Redzia sparing robotic radical prostatectomy wherein we use the robotic technology to, to do the surgery in a different approach. A vast majority of patients who undergo Redzia sparing uh, prostatectomy are not incontinent at all. So what used to be months and sometimes even a year, year and a half of urinary incontinence doesn't happen at all. A vast substantial percentage of patients who undergo these Redzia sparing robotic prostatectomies regain their continence within a matter of a day or two. Not only that, more than 85% of patients undergoing this Redzia sparing prostatectomy are uh, 
uh, you know uh, potency preserved meaning to say they can uh, achieve satisfactory erections for performing sexual activity within the first three months of completion of surgery. So this is a significant advantage of doing a robotic surgery for treating prostate cancers. Mm -hmm.